has nothing to do with giving God money. Can I say it again? Just for the CD purpose. <laughs> Tithing has nothing to do with giving God money. God doesn't need nothing from you. God doesn't need a penny from us. We only think of money. And that's our Leviticus problem. chapter 27 and verse 30. The reason why people argue about tithe is number one because they think tithe is about money. Tithe is not about money. See, that's why the reward of giving in the church, the reward of giving, leave all these uh, so-called prosperity preachers who will tell you give and your money will multiply. God is not in, in MMM. Stop giving to God to multiply your money's fraud. There's no such thing. The issue of tight is come under great contention. Psalm 120 verse 7, David said, I'm for peace, but when I speak, they are for all. In all my videos, I am in a quest for the body of Christ. I do not intend to hurt, to harm, or to tarnish the image of Christ or any other gospel minister. I do reactions concerning trending issues of men and women of God. And today is about tightening, the issue of tightening including men of God, they believe that the issue of Titan is all about money. And we all can testify to that the issue of Titan at the moment is a major issue and a subject where it's full of dilemma and confusion. Apostle Joshua Selman has spoken his mind that Titan is not all about money. Dr. Miles Moreau of Blessed Memory has also spoken his mind. And then Dr. Abel Damina has also spoken his mind. And all, all have said that Titan is not about money. Let's have a look at their concerns in their videos to know what Titan is really about. If you find what I do interesting, you can like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon. Again, stick around as I come back with great logic analysis over the issue of Titan with backing scriptures. Leviticus Salon. chapter 27 and verse 30. The reason why people argue about tight is number one because they think tight is about money. Tight is not about money. And all the tight of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. This has nothing to do with a dispensation. This is an ordinance. Let me submit to you. There are two reasons why I think the tight issue has become a controversy in the body of Christ. Number one, and is because of the way we men of God drum it. We drum it because we need the money and because there have been a, a lot of misuse and extravagance with God's money. People have played all kinds of games with God's money at the expense of people's sacrifices and not everybody in church, uh, people, God's people are not dummies. When they watch and they see that the value you are, pro you are producing does not match the kind of affluence and extravagance you are communicating someone will be sensitive enough to ask questions and because a tithe is a tenth portion there is nothing to hide about tight tight financially speaking is a tenth portion of what you bring and let me tell you if that is combined from faithful people it is a lot bankers am i right it is a lot, a lot. what is there to hide Tithe was supposed to be a mechanism. Listen to me. According to scripture, the tithe was supposed to be a mechanism to cater for priesthood and to cater for the building of the Lord's house. To cater for priesthood. Remember there was a time when the children of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, are we Bible students, that while they were boiling the meat, they were given the privilege of using a fork to pick without looking. The scene there became when they now started opening the whole pot and they would look for the choice part of the meat and use it. And God said, no, this is not. I gave you the privilege to at least pick something. Now, there are all kinds of policies and principles. I'm not going into the legalities of ministries and Christian organizations and all of that. But I can tell you it is because of the annoyance of people from the carelessness, the recklessness, and the misuse of God's money. This is what has led people into this anger that has evolved into this campaign. There are a few people who have intelligently studied 
and based on their conclusion they feel this is not needed but i tell you the root of most of this tight problem has come because of an a, a level of integrity that has not been effectively has nothing to do with giving god money can i say it again just for the cd purpose <laughs> tithing has nothing to do with giving god money God doesn't need nothing from you. You couldn't even give God nothing. Everything on the earth already belongs to God. He don't need nothing from us. So when God sets something up, it's not because He needs it. Tithing and offerings is God's management training program for mankind. Boy, this is so important. God doesn't need a penny from us. And yet he tells us 10% of everything is mine. We only think of money. And that's our problem. If you get 10 pairs of shoes, one of them ain't yours. If you get 10 dresses, one of them ain't yours. If you bought 10 oranges, one of them is not yours. If you got 24 hours in a day, 2 hours and 40 minutes don't belong to you. I got no time to pray. What are you talking about? You got 2 and a half hours and 40 minutes that don't belong to you. You're a thief every day when you don't use those 2 hours and 40 minutes for God's purposes. You are a thief. See, that's why the reward of giving in the church, the reward of giving, leave all these uh, so-called prosperity preachers who will tell you give and your money will multiply. God is not in, in MMM. Stop giving to God to multiply your money's fraud. There's no such thing. No such thing. If you want your money to increase, get more jobs. Get more business. You will increase your money. But where God is concerned, when you give, it doesn't multiply. Rather, your giving translates into the salvation of souls for eternal reward. There's no earthly reward for your, no earthly reward. Stop expecting anything here. He said, lay your treasures in heaven where no thief will steal from because that is where the reward will be see i hear you uh, don't let any man use your head don't let anybody god is not going to bless you for giving he blessed you that's why you're able to go to work is it not the blessing of god you wake up in the morning your legs are kicking you got a job you're thinking straight you drove to the office you sat down and you know what to do with your file all that is the blessing Concerning the issue of tithing, there is one particular scripture which is very famous when it comes about the issue of tithing, which is Malachi 3.10, where the Bible says, bringing in full tithing into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. That's testing me to see that I will open the windows of heaven and pour down blessings and overflowing blessings and then fight against the devourer concerning your blessing. Now, the reason why I believe personally that the, the issue of tithing has come under a strong contention is because it has to do with money. And there are many people who are busy preaching the subject of tithing in the body of Christ, making others feel guilty for not paying tithe, not because uh, the blessings that God may give to them which they are not receiving is their concern but most of them their concern is just about themselves and just about how they can prosper because there are many ministers in the ministry or in the kingdom of god with wrong agendas and purpose and mission and that is why the issue of tithing 
has come under contention yes. that every great minister had to say something over the subject of tithing. Now you see the church lives in reality uh, where people have gotten needs, where people are entitled to um, responsibilities and what life is about. Now supposing that people are paying tithes to preachers and people are doing all that the kingdom is commanding us to do, yet they do not see they cannot testify what the money of the titan is doing in the kingdom. Like Apostle Joshua Selma said, at a certain point, people become curious and will want to know what the money or what the tithe is being used for. So if it gets to a point where we do not see the purposes of the money of tithing, some, some Christians may not take it lightly, which can actually cause division, misunderstanding and contention over the subject of tithing. You see, it is a good thing to tithe. It is a good thing to follow order because the kingdom of God is established on principles. The kingdom of God is built on principles. And one of the principles within the kingdom of God is titan. Now, when it comes to the issue of getting blessed and the issue of God fighting the enemy and the issue of God guiding all your finances, we know by Malachi 3.10 that God is able to rebuke the devourer. God is able to open the windows of heaven upon your life. That is, that is if you are a faithful titan. But we see the, the whole issue of the titan matter is when a certain preachers make it a business, when a certain preachers make it like they are entitled to it and it belongs to them and when you do not pay, when you do not give, when you do not oblige the rules and regulations towards the titan aspect, you are like cares or something. That is where the issue comes from. And it is so serious that it's so serious that in certain churches, when you don't even pay your tithe at a certain point of a, a need for your life or when you come in a certain place where you need help, the church may not necessarily help you. And even at a certain point for the church to help you, sometimes they have to go back to the book where they have archived all your continuation of titan to read the history and your record of titan before the church can respond to your need or even the church to help you. These are the reason why the church is coming under a serious contention and attack over the subject of titan. Now it is good to tithe. Nobody is fighting against that. But we shouldn't make it like personally or we shouldn't make it like agenda of of where or means or process or method to get money from people. If it becomes so, then the agenda of the kingdom, the agenda of titan is broken and at the very end of it, the church is going to find itself under a strange and a serious contention as it's going on. We live in times where the issue of titan is under a strong criticization because of what has been happening. You see, most at times, the money even given to pastors as tithing is not normally used for their purposes, the purpose of the kingdom. What do we use tithe for? We can use tithe for reaching out for souls, doing crusades, and many other things. But in the times we are living in, many has made it a big mm -hmm. tithe is what fuels their activities in life and what they should do, the house they live in, the car they drive, their family, their business, and so many on. Now, it is it is their rights because the Bible gives right for that, that the tithe is equally for the priest. But uh, it's not just the entire uh, the entirety of the tithe that the priest must just enjoy. If you see the rates as to where certain churches are more conscious and can preach the subject of tithe day and night, and yet does not bother about the sheep's does not bother about the individuals, this is really alarming. And this is really telling us that the church is in astray, that it will take the grace of God for us to come back to the normal path. The issue of tithe is not just only for pastors. The issue of tithe is not just for to cater for the needs of the pastors. The issue of tithe is not just to cater for 
the, the, the housing issues of the pastor, the car project of the pastor, or anything that concerns the pastor. Sometimes the issue of tithing must equally concern the seed. Because when you read the Bible, the Bible says that bringing in full tithing into the storehouse, that my, my house may be full, that my house may be full. Now, in other ways, that when people come to the house of the Lord, and they are in need and they are in trouble. The church should be able to help as well. That is also another reason of giving tithe. Another reason for giving tithe. Because the existence of the church is not just only for the man of God. It's not just only for the family of the preacher. It's not just only for the sheep. But including the, uh, uh, including the church members as well. Where at a certain point or at a certain need, the, the money for tithing can equally be used to help other people. The issue of tithing can even, to, can even be used to help strangers and solve other issues. It's not only for a preacher. It's not only for God's purposes. It's not only for God's agenda. When Paul was writing to Timothy, he said unto Timothy that Timothy should face out those who are genuinely widows to help them that the church may not be burdened. So the church should be able to take care of certain people. The church should be able to help. The church should be able to cater the needs of the ones who are suffering. So the issue of Titan comes in here where we can use some of the money to help and assist people. You cannot have a church where a pastor focuses about the teaching of Titan, the blessing of Titan, but does not care about the sheep and can never use the same money to help and support some sheep when they are in trouble. If the church continues to go this way, definitely every now and then the church will come under great attack. The church will come under serious contention over the issue of tithing. Listen, the issue of money is not a joke. The issue of money or finances is not a small matter. When, Jesus, when, when, when Judas wanted to betray Jesus and after he succeeded, the payment of the betrayal of Jesus was money, which is finances. Because of money issues, Elisha cursed Gehazi, which was just issue of money. So when it comes about the issue of money, I tell you, it's not a matter of job. The issue of money must be handled with a lot of maturity and care. We cannot be receiving titan just for ourselves, just for our life, our family, and the ministry. And we will never, ever, ever stretch out our hand that even the sheep should benefit from the titan aspect. If this is the way the church will continue to go, then I tell you that the church will never, will never, will never escape the issue of accusations and abuse from the, 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 the people who gives money and even unbelievers in the times we are living in. Here, if you have noticed, in, in the times we are living in, even when you talk about the gospel, people think it's just all about money. People think it's just all about your pocket. People think it's just all about you and your personal gain. Why? Because the issue of finances and money in the times we are living in is very sensitive and we must treat it with much care. We must treat it with much maturity. You cannot be receiving titles for many years and will never use some of the money to cater for the needy of maybe a stranded person or even a sheep, those in the church. If we take titles and we, we pretend like we cannot help people, then the church will eventually fall into attacks and accusations and the issue of tithe and the money being given to the church will continually come into attack and contention. And it is time we, are, we must all wake up and understand the subject. It's not just only about the preacher. It's not just only about the family of the preacher. It's not just only about the church of the preacher. It's equally, it equally concerns the sheep. It equally concerns an individual who are in trouble, a stranger who is stranded. That the, the, the Bible says that, that the, the, the house of the Lord, they may be food. The house of the Lord, they may be food that a stranger can equally benefit from. The house of the Lord may be food, not just because of a pastor or because of the, the, the family of the pastor only to enjoy, but they may be food for all. 
that they may be food for all. So the subject of tithe is not just only for a preacher. It's for God, for the purposes of the kingdom, for the purposes, it can be for the purposes of the preacher and sometimes equally for the purposes of the sheep as well. The issue of tithe must not be given to only men of God to squander their money and use it just for themselves. It has got many meaning and purposes in the kingdom. Let us equally consider this and begin to do them that the church of the living God can equally march forward greatly and accomplish its primary cause on earth. That at the end of the day, the purpose, the vision, and the calling of the church will stand strong and will march forward. That the gate of hell will not be able to prevail over the church of Christ.